this is my Raspberry Pi desktop right here. Um, this is the board that I'm running this desktop off. This is another, it's called Pi Orange. It's a similar one. It has one gigabyte of memory. I just installed Lazarus uh, 1.8, um, release candidate 5 uh, on this board, but I was using uh, SSH session from my laptop. So let's try to um, uh, start the very Lazarus that I just built. Let's see. See, this is the one. It's just the one that I built. It already has the single uh, window mode because I just recompiled it with the uh, packages that enable it. This is pretty interesting. Um, I have my board hanging here. This is running and uh, over the HDMI. Um, it produces output on this monitor and I have wireless uh, Bluetooth mouse and keyboard here. I can work like this, uh, no problem. But um, I have so many other devices, like I have Ubuntu Touch phone, I have some other boards, I, can, I have more devices than just that. So what I can do with all of that is I can sit um, uh, on my chair, like relax myself with the laptop on my lap. So on this laptop I have three devices all come at once. The laptop itself, the Raspberry Pi, uh, no I'm sorry, the Ubuntu Touch, this phone right here, this is the phone this one here and um, Raspberry Pi so this one here is the Raspberry Pi running there I'm inside all of them and I can start any apps from them including the graphical ones uh, look at this this one this is the Ubuntu um, phone Ubuntu touch I do this and start it there it is this is Lazarus from my Ubuntu Touch here, this guy over here, here is my Raspberry Pi. So I also start Lazarus, but this one is from my last uh, Raspberry Pi. So this is the Lazarus 1.8 that I just built. And so I have two Lazaruses on Raspberry Pi, the old one and the new one. So look at this. Um, on my laptop here, this is convergence. I have one uh, version of the software running from my phone here. You see, I'm running it here, and I can use it. And another one at the same time is running of my uh, Raspberry Pi port board here. This is convergence. Everything converges to one space. The one that I find the most comfortable working with, like like this comfortable, you know, like drinking my tea. This is my idea of convergence, uh, really. I don't care about different architectures, R, Intel, and stuff like that, because ultimately um, I can run all of these things together on one desktop. I can run it here, I can run it on my laptop, I can run it on my phone as well. I have this other post on my blog when I use SSH uh, forwarding to start my desktop apps on this phone, like Spotify, for example. All of these devices uh, have different architectures, ARM CPU versus Intel CPU, they have different form factors, uh, they're so different from each other. They have one thing in common, all of them run Ubuntu. And here, um, all of these Ubuntu experience comes together into one. This is my idea of all things Ubuntu. Uh, and this is, this is the practical convergence that, that is just there. It's, it's, it's already there. It only depends on the most default uh, tech that Linux has had for decades right now. Very much or very legacy stuff. And it's there. It's ready, you know? So this is pretty cool. And this is my idea of convergence. The way uh, I imagine convergence works for me is this. I have a desktop somewhere. That desktop means... Usually it's like regular desktop Ubuntu that I have access to. But as you can see in this case, this is Raspberry Pi desktop. So I have a big monitor. I have big keyboard, full-size keyboard and mouse, and I have my device that travels with me in my pocket. Uh, when I arrive home or when I arrive uh, to work, to office, I just put my phone away, maybe I charge it, it automatically um, um, connects to my Wi-Fi at home or at work. At this moment, when I'm already on the same LAN, I can start anything, any application off this device, anything, 
onto my main working space and I can use it here as you can see like I can compile stuff I can run this uh, I can use anything I can use um, software development tools like I'm doing here I can uh, run a web browser I can check my emails and things like that uh, the reason why it's super convenient is because my applications travel with me and my uh, files and configuration travels with me so when I move between different computers that I spend time at, for example, from my office to my home, or sometimes maybe a third person, somebody else's computer, I don't have to worry whether or not I have my software installed there and whether or not I need to change the settings that I'm used to. Because all of my software is here, all of the settings are here, all of the data is here. Uh, I don't need to recreate that anywhere. I don't even need uh, anybody to give me any sort of permission on a third person's computer like sudo privilege or anything like that because I don't need to install anything. I just use things that is uh, things that are already installed there like SSH. I SSH into this and my software comes. So even if I don't have something installed um, if I don't have something installed on the computer that I'm working let's suppose this is um, this is a public computer like for example uh, last time I was in Hong Kong airport they actually had um, a, a number of uh, computers for public use running Ubuntu and from that moment on I can uh, connect to the hotspot from my phone you know phone has a hotspot and Ubuntu phone works just the same way and then from that moment on without installing anything else I SSH on somebody else's computer into my phone and I run software of it um, be it, um, for example, my email client like Thunderbird or open my web browser from the phone with my session, you know, the last tabs that I visited already open there with my bookmarks, bookmarks there and everything, uh, open my tools for software development, um, anything really. And this is my idea of convergence. Now, uh, it's easy for me because I use Ubuntu most of the time, so I don't need any uh, special um, software. But if I happen to be on Windows, I can still have access to the same thing. I need first to have some sort of SSH client. Most of the time I use Putty for that reason. And I need to have Windows version of X server. Um, when I'm using Putty for SSH, I usually use X main um, X server with it. So that means that from Windows, I can do exactly the same thing. I can open these apps from here, Linux apps on my Windows computers and you can do the same thing on Mac uh, exactly the same thing SSH is already provided by default you just need to download some sort of X server for Mac you can Google these uh, out a and you get convergence like that